Praise the Lord and God bless you. Welcome again to 10 Minute Midday Manor, 10 Minutes in the Word of God. We are here to go through the Word of God. Amen. Blessing your lunch hour whenever you're able to view. Today we're going to conclude the book of 1 Timothy as we continue looking through the letters of Paul and we're getting toward the end of the letters of Paul and uh, we'll conclude the f- book of uh, First uh, Timothy. That'll be coming right up. Amen and God bless you. Thank you again for being with us on today and joining us for Midday Manor. Today we're looking at the book of First Timothy. If it's your first time, I ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a returner, you know that uh, that's something we've asked for you to do, and that blesses us to be able to reach more or as many possible. Amen. Uh, if you uh, would like to join us, our contact information is below. We have our Sunday worship service at 420 South Pollard Street. But any other information you need is there at the bottom through our website, email, or our social media platforms. And we thank God again for you being with us today. Amen. And please like, comment, subscribe, and also share. Amen. With those uh, you know. Amen. Looking at First Timothy, Paul lays it down pretty good here in, in the last chapter in the book. In chapter number six, he says, Let all who are under a yoke as bond servants regard their own masters as worthy of all honor, so that the name of God and the teaching may not be reviled. Those who have believing masters must not be disrespectful on the ground that they are brothers. Rather, they must serve all the better, since those who benefit by their good service are believers and beloved. Teach and urge these things. If anyone teaches a different doctrine and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the teaching that accords with godliness, uh, he is puffed up with conceit and understands nothing. He has an unhealthy craving for controversy and for quarrels about words which produce envy, dissension, slander, evil suspicions, and constant friction among people who are depraved in mind and deprived of the truth imagining that godliness is a means of gain, but godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing, these things, with these we will be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation, into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. It is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pains. But as for you, O man of God, flee these things, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of eternal life to which you were called and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you in the presence of God who gives life to all things, and of Christ Jesus, who in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession, to keep the commandment unstained and free from reproach until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he would display at the proper time, he who is the blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, whom no one has ever seen or can see, to him be honor and eternal dominion. Amen. As for the rich in his present age, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share, thus storing up treasure for themselves as a good foundation for the future, so that they may take hold of what is of that which is truly life. O Timothy, guard the deposit entrusted to you. Avoid the irreverent babble and contradictions of what is falsely called knowledge. And for by professing it, some have swerved from the faith. Grace be with you. Amen. Like I said, Timothy really dealt in uh, Timothy chapter 6, really, uh, Paul dives into it and gets very direct in some uh, very important things to Timothy as a younger, young minister. And uh, Timothy were to receive the commands and the direction of Paul. He immediately talks about 
uh, uh, other Bible, uh, King James, it would say slavery, uh, slaves and master. In the English Standard Version, the ESV, they use the word bond servants, and that's to give a, a more, when we hear the word slavery, we hear and we think about probably the worst case of slavery in history, maybe, maybe not, um, through in the Americas. And really, uh, the slavery in the Americas would have been against the will of God. Uh, though slavery isn't directly um, uh, ridiculed or forbidden in the Bible. But men stealers and the law of slavery, you have to go back into the old Bible and look at how slaves were to be treated. Uh, that's why I hear I like the word bond service. You are bound to them through an oath or through something where you will work out uh, the things that you need. So your freedom was uh, gone for the sake of working out this uh, this agreement and so in exchange for work the livelihood of you and your family was secure and so if you're serving somebody do it as you're doing unto the Lord and even more so if there are believers uh, that you are working for uh, so that the believers can receive the benefit of your great work and so he handles that by saying if you are a bond servant if you are employed by someone if you are uh, uh, bound or bound to someone uh, by an oath, do it as you're doing un unto the Lord with all your heart. Uh, and then he goes on and says, if you're teaching a doctrine that doesn't agree with sound doctrine, uh, you you are puffed up. You have your mind up above what God would have you to. Uh, and so uh, you have to uh, be somebody that uh, is 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 given to sound doctrine, not somebody that's ready to fight, somebody that's ready, and we see that now where uh, people come up with new slants on religion, they'll claim Christ, but then the only focus is on a certain thing, skin color, uh, who you are, genealogies, the Bible tells you to uh, don't get into endless genealogies and all these things, and what it does is it, it captures the attention of people with depraved mind, people that don't know the truth, you know, it said it'll see the very elect. You can come up with some things and some doctrine and some things that will very well sound good and pull people away from the truth, uh, so that uh, you would you would ultimately find that they're building the kingdom unto themselves. Um, but with the truth, you understand what is the real thing, what is important, uh, what do you lift up, and uh, what things that may be true may sound good, but are not the end all be all salvation is the end all be all not ruling not who's right who's wrong and not endless quarrelings um, and so we have to make sure that we uh, don't get distracted from sound doctrine I got to move along but uh, it even drives something that is major today that sound that people use the word of God in order to gain riches and that's very prevalent and people are exposing those people but Paul says to be godly with contentment is great gain learn how to be content what you have you brought nothing in this world you take nothing out if you got food if you got clothes if you're taken care of be content with it don't let the rich uh, don't don't be like the rich and fall into temptation and all these desires, because that love of money, try striving for it. If you want to be like some of these people you see on TV, there's some things you're going to have to do that are immoral, that are against your values, that's going to pull away. And so if you strive to do that, it's going to cause you to do evil and wander away, away from the path of faith. But we got to pursue righteous. We got to do the right thing. We got to uphold it and fight the good fight of faith and, and do what is good unto the Lord. Uh, uh, we have to be what God will have us to be. Be unstained, uh, be above reproach, have uh, have the right uh, mindset and understanding as to the things of God because it will. Uh, the things of evil will come to light, um, but we have to understand that we have to maintain the good deeds that God will have us to do. Uh, if you're rich, don't be haughty. Uh, don't base your, your lives. A lot of us have gotten more. We'll be considered rich in, the, in, the, in relevance to a lot of nations. But don't be caught up in that. It is God that has given us everything. 
uh, be good, do good, be ready to share, uh, and do the things of God. And that's the treasure in heaven that we're looking for, uh, the eternal and everlasting things. As it says, only what you do for Christ is going to laugh. And then one of the final things he talks about is people that engage in irreverent Bible contradictions, people having knowledge, somebody that grabbed one scripture or one thing or one thought and they've made a whole religion about it and a lot of people will get caught up in it and they call you out to try to uh, uh, get you into debate and get you in all these things but it's not with the heart of understanding but with the heart of threatenings and with the heart of contradictions and uh, for the mindset of knowledge isn't isn't there and so by getting involved with that sort of action it can cause you evil and cause you to stay away or divert away from the truth. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you. Thank God. Amen for you. And uh, we bless God for all his wondrous works. And we praise God for his many acts of kindness. And so I thank God for you being with us on today. I praise God for you. And I should continue in prayer. If you're anywhere in the Roanoke Valley, we'd love to have you. Amen. Come build a community of believers in the word of God with us. Amen. And just watch the power of God move in our lives. Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you is my prayer in Jesus name.